that we add in 30 seconds of freestyle dribbling and we do this three times throughout the whole thing just to add some more intensity and just to work on our first touch and dribbling when we're tired. 50 more. 15. 10 more, 10 more. Time. Oh, You guys might have seen us do this variation before, but it's pretty much just different variations of playing and first touch through these cones. It's kind of hard for me to explain, but if you guys just watch it carefully, you guys will see the pattern. Now this is a new variation for us, uh, as you can see we touch it twice, then check back to receive a longer pass and we play a give and go off of the couch, kind of like a wall pass, and I think we did this around five times each side, but they had to be like a good five reps. <laughs>
As you guys can see, I'm applying a lot of pressure on Denzel with the yoga ball, and his goal is to just protect the ball for me for, I think, 45 seconds was it? And my goal is to just to keep the ball and not lose it, just keep it under your control at the same time while holding me off. Oh, Alright guys, this video is a little different, um, I wouldn't really call it a day in the life, but today is actually my last day in Canada, so I wanted to get a little session in, and you know, there's no excuse, like, as you can see we did it in a space not very large, but, like, it really is, you know, a good sweat, and it's good to sharpen yourself up and do what you can, um, yeah, you see Denzel over there sweating, uh, good session? Good session. Yeah, so, you know, it's not even a lot of materials, just a, some markers, a ball, another person, and a little wall, you know. It, um, today is my last day in Canada. Uh, yeah, it's a little sad. You know, obviously I don't want to leave home and leave my family and the people I love down here, but it's just a part of life. Sometimes if you want to, if you want to get something, you got to chase it. Really step out of your comfort zone to do that. So I have a feeling, I have a pit in my stomach the whole time thinking about leaving, but you know, life goes on. Just really enjoy every single moment that you have. And I felt like I really spent my break really nice here. I don't even call it a break, you know, I still trained a lot and but it was just a good break, you know, seeing my friends, my family. You know, for those of you relating to, like I felt like in this area of the of the year, you know, between like November to January, it's like a little break. You know, spend time with your family, your loved ones. But now I feel like everybody's going back to school, everyone's going back to their clubs, so everyone's getting back to work. So everyone kind of relates, you know, you gotta trust in you gotta trust in God's plan. And whatever comes next, you know, I'm not very worried about anything. And there is some changes of where I'm going, but maybe I'll update you guys in, in a future video. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the session. It was a good session. I just focused a lot technically and you know staying sharp. And yeah, we did it in like a very small space. So for those of you guys who think that you can't train, like you can literally use anything in your environment to get a good session and get some good work in. I made a video about kind of like this before. It was like it was like a footballer's a footballer like peace of mind or something. Like I made a video back then, and you know I'll I'll allow you guys to re-enter again into my mind, and I hope you guys enjoy. I honestly have no idea what's in store for me. Sometimes we have these expectations or guesses about what we will face, and then a year passes by and your guesses aren't remotely close. Your goals may have been achieved, but the route taken was incredibly different from what you would have thought. For me, I have no idea what I will face and what life will throw at me, but I do know that I will be able to handle it and say that I'm okay. Some think that everything must be found out at a certain time or age in their life. But it is okay to not know. It's okay to restart. It's okay to change route and it's okay to fail. At 40 years old, Marvel creator Stan Lee caught his break when he published Fantastic Four. Nelson Mandela found his voice as an activist in his 40s and was then arrested and in jail for 27 years where he studied law and then at 76 became his country's president. I don't know what's around the corner and what's past this door, but one thing I do know is what I want from this life, and nothing will stop me from trying to get there. All I can say to you and whoever is watching this, embrace the unpredictable and accept the change. Be true to yourself and to others, for life is short. You need to go out there and make it happen for yourself. If you want something, go and get it. 
but understand that it can make you question yourself and this complexity of what we call life.